What's going on everybody, Jimo here again, and today I'm going to be painting this Jeep. I have the door for a blend, I'm going to be painting the fender and the bumper, and it is a three-stage white, and I finally get to learn the hard lesson on bad three stages in the DuPont line. I've been warned about them for a while, but I've been yet to see one, so this is my first terribly matching three-stage white. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply my wet bed blender, which is a clear product, and I'm going to put it up over the door and then apply my white base coat right after. Now, it gets kind of confusing at this point because when I was at the training center, they said you cannot put blender on a second application or it changes the color, and I never really got very good clarification on why that is, so I'm going to have to check with my rep, I think, again and get them to explain that because we're told that you can use it again when we blend the pearls in the next step but this is the first step I'm showing so uh, what I'm doing here anyway is putting my color onto my fender and I'm going to blend it into the door and it's going to be with a three stage you have two blends to do obviously you have the color here and then you have the metallics next so I'm also doing a spray out card as I go which we call a letdown panel that's going to let me know exactly what my color is going to look like uh, and how the pearls impact it as I go because it might need a few more coats of pearls than just the one and a half coats that you see with the color application. And one thing you need to be doing when it comes to three stages is using a hardener in the ground coat which prevents your mid coat from being able to bite into it and actually altering the color after when you apply that in the next step. So here's the spray out card I was doing and one piece of advice that is going to be very apparent in a minute is be careful where you put your spray out card down to dry or else that can happen. It sucks. I let the base coat dry for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. You have to make sure you have full coverage with your ground coat, in this case my white. Make sure everything is completely covered. Check it over with a lighter sun gun before you move on to the next step, which is adding the pearls on top of the color. Now I'm going to be adding my pearl, or sorry, my wet bed blender again to the far side of the door and then adding my pearls. Now this job was quite a fiasco. I could notice after I put my first coat of pearls on that it wasn't really making a drastic difference in, the, in changing the color. So there's just my new spray out card I did as well because I destroyed my old one. Um, and I also have my bumper here. I'm going to just blend the side of it and uh, I'm going to leave the other side untouched so it's going to match the other side. It's going to have the original color on it. So once we get to this point here, I'm getting ready to put on, I think it's my second coat, but you can see uh, that fender to the door. It looks a lot whiter, about maybe a foot into the door where my blend actually is. And the first coat did not change it nearly enough. So what I've done is I've taped off my spray out card so I can kind of see exactly how far it's going to take it with each coat. So it kind of gives me an idea on where to go. It wasn't a super heavy coat of pearls, but um, you know, you'd probably be sitting here watching me spray an awful lot of mid coat. Usually it should be maybe two coats, three coats tops, but I'm pretty sure by the time I was done this job, it was up around six or seven coats. So here's a look at how the pearl is affecting my color. The first one on the left there where I taped off is one coat of pearl, a light coat, and there's a second coat, which you can see is going in the right direction. It's just taking me an awful long time to get there. So I'm just going to go ahead here and fast forward to the clear coating. So um, I believe I'm using the Speed Clear 5600 again on this door here. And uh, you can see i got a pretty good blend going on. You can't see the transition now throughout the door of where my, you know, my original color and my ground coat slash mid coat have blended out. So i got two good blends going on there. Uh, the only thing I'm a little concerned about is where it's going to match up to the hood there, where I have kind of a butt match from the fender to the hood. So once this was dried off and I got it unmasked to check the difference between the hood and the fender you can see it looks not too shabby in here but once we pulled it outside it looked a lot worse it's not it's a new car so you know this thing has to be perfect it really should have been done 
blending the hood in the first place, but you know, sometimes we like to do things the long way. So I had to repaint it the very next day. This time I'm going to be taking my color into the hood. The blend on the door was fine, so we'll just leave that. But uh, I'm going to need to get a good color match here. So another quick little spray job. The same thing. So I rescanned it to get a better color even this time. But uh, I tried a different formula, and I had the exact same problem where it took just heck of a lot of pearl to make it actually change to the proper color which is not really a very good thing um, so this was my first taste of a terrible three stage that I just could not find a good formula for and it sucks so uh, you know hopefully this is the last time I have to deal with that but uh, something tells me it won't be well here's what we have after the second try so uh, it looks okay second time around but that's going to be it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.